Hey, you two friends. Let me show you what I got going on here. This is something new I just got here. This is, just got it in. Just got in two weeks ago, actually. This is what I ordered. USPS Party Mail. Got it from SS Tran. Now, SS Tran, they make low power AM transmitters. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And I gotta open this up. But what I did here was that I'd searched around for a while for for a nice uh, low power AM kit. And I looked at Ramsey Electronics, Vectronics, and SS Tran. I looked at those three three vendors. And I don't want to cast any aspersions to the other manufacturers. But I picked the SS Tran LPAM kit. It's called the AMT 3000 SM. Costs about 92 bucks. And it says here that the low power AM broadcast transmitter kit with 10 kilohertz channel spacing, just like they use in North America and South America. The single surface mount IC is pre soldered on the board, so I don't have to worry about soldering to the IC itself. That's where problems could come in. And it includes the circuit board, all parts, the enclosure, the antenna, ground wires, instruction manual, and the U.S. standard 120 volt AC adapter. It's legal to use in the U.S. No FCC license required. We use it as accordingly, according to the instructions. You don't want to run at any, any higher power than what it says, because that will be not compliant with the FCC. And we wouldn't want that at all, would we? Would we? And uh, it's 100% modulation, 20, kilo, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz audio response. How's that grab you, huh? Very low distortion, adjustable audio compressor limiter, 10, 10 kilohertz and 9 kilohertz channel options so we're using 10 kilohertz in North America high quality PC board and components and a comprehensive instruction manual all in this box here okay so I'm gonna open I'm gonna open it up <laughs> it's been two weeks because I've been remodeling the kitchen and you know they had no time to open this I got this, this is a cool buck knife. I got this bad boy in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Cheap. So don't mess with me. Let's open this thing up. Now I'm actually stealing this idea from uh, Mr. Burton. Mr. Burton does this. And I said, well, I'm going to steal this idea. Open in the box. He has a special thing he calls his knife. I'm not going to copy that. But I'm going to open this box here. It's kind of like Christmas because I never opened it up yet. I did block the address out though. i got to open this up here. Got to... Got a whole, a whole book here. Man, it's a whole, whole manual, which is going to require a lot of reading. And of course, this is printed circuit. This is transistorized too. Uh, newfangled transistors and integrated circuits. No worries. I actually built electronics in the 80s for the large semiconductor equipment company and I built prototypes way back in a past life let's see what we got in here more likely there's your that's what they use for the power supply just a standard 
thing you plug in a wall. I guess that makes sense, I guess. Legal legal limit is 100 milliwatts. Oh, there's a circuit board. It's all in a plastic container there, which is like ESD protected. This thing comes with a, a case too. So that's one reason I like the kit. But I like the kit too because it has 100% modulation, but the frequency response they claim is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So that would be high fidelity. And we all like high fidelity, don't we? I'll have to inventory the parts, capacitors. These are the jacks, input jacks. See, I, I like I like this concept. These are some crystals. Okay, we got. I guess that's the ground wire, and I guess that's the antenna wire. What else we got here? Got some coils. These are the ICs. I guess the main IC, you know, they said they had it soldered in, but here's, here's ICs right here. So not all the ICs are soldered in. Well, the fact is, hang on a second. Okay, well, there's a circuit board, and I don't see any ICs soldered in there. And it did say, hang on a second, it said on here, Single surface mount IC is pre-soldered on the board. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, there is. There is. There it is. There's a little IC soldered on the board. I'm not going to take it out because it's static protected. But there is one on there. So, what I should do is probably make sure I'm static protected before I start working and soldering on this. That will be a good point to do. So I'll have to uh, ground myself out. Well, that's the whole kit. And that's going to be my next project. Because I want to get on the air and broadcast, dudes. And I could have uh, Radio Free Lockmeister. And I could broadcast to all my all my radios, my my wonderful antique radios, I can broadcast anything I want. And I can broadcast stuff from from the laptop. You know? Got my laptop with all my junk on here. Here I'll show you. Got my laptop. And I can actually get internet stations and broadcast them out to the radio. Won't that be cool? Won't that be cool, friends and countrymen? It's the American way. The American way is to have freedom of the air and to broadcast what you want with no corporate consolidations and jingos and pre-programmed stuff that no one likes anymore. So I can make my own station and it's all high fidelity and it's not compressed audio and uh, for my listening enjoyment that's what it's for and it's all going to be 100 percent fcc legal no kidding I, I would kid you not on that it really is trust me i have a face you can trust take it easy kids bye bye